This video and the interleaf stills was shot on a dive on Lulworth Banks in August 2017 in 5 metres of visibility and 20 metres of water. Lulworth Banks is a raised area of reef consisting of concentric reefs around a central depression full of sediment. This dive took place at the west end of that central depression. I've just seen a reef with a diver. That's my buddy, he stayed on the reef and I went about five to six metres out on the sediment to see what there was. And you probably think here there's a lot of sand. Well there was more than sand. There was a lot of these areas of uh, slightly raised reef awash in sediment. But the sediment wasn't composed of geogenic rock fragments, it was mostly biogenic material including lots of dead empty shell and here we see moving a little bit closer there's a queen scallop and immediately around it areas of brown material which I believe is fossil merle in fragments. This is another area of sediment in between waves you see an exposed Cliona silata, a boring sponge and these bore into big lumps of shell or into rock in this case wafting revealed the rock below it with other species living on that. This is Cyacalypta penicillis, which is another emergent sponge which seems to be quite happy, inverted commas, on uh, veneers. And this is Adraeus fascicularis, which is supposed to be fairly rare, but on veneers in Dorset is quite frequently found. And it's quite a nice large sponge, although it can be confused with Respalia hispida. This is uh, another section of video showing context. Little areas of rock of washing sediment with a whole variety of different biota on the top. Wafting, I'm afraid I haven't got any videos of wafting going on, show that the biota carried on underneath the rock and was actually submerged in sediment. This plus the amount of queen scallops and great scallops with sediment on the top of their shells indicates that the sediment moves very very frequently and pretty easily. And here we see a little bit closer on this uh, section of rock and you can see a queen scallop with material on its surface. This close-up of two shells so shows some of the brown material which I believe is iron stained and fossil merle. A closer up again and there was a lot of this brown material and you can actually see it in waves later on in this video. This I believe is an important reservoir of sequestered carbon. This is more context and this shows some waves of sediment. There is bits and bobs of emergent rock with different biota on the surface and this is moving back towards the reef and my buddy working his way along. And we can see steps of rock here submerged to various depths in sediment. We can see a pentapora in the foreground. Again a species which does not live in sediment. It must live on rock. And a lot of queen scallops which were nice to see on this dive plus various emergent biota sticking out of from the rock and through the sediment. Over to the right we see a large drift of shells. There were quite a few of these seen on this dive. A lot of dead shells, many of which were queen scallops. But there were other assorted bivalves and also gastropods as well. This is one of the uh, steps of rock with a close-up of the biota that you can see, including hydroids, bryozoans, Stellonica socialis squirt on the left, and just above it, an anomalous polymastia more about those later in this uh, narration. Here we have a little transect swum from about 15 metres out starting on an area of dead shell moving back towards the reef so this is basically in a northwesterly direction by this point in the dive and you can see large ripples in the sediment indicating that it moves frequently with pale material in the troughs and brown material making up the majority of the material in the actual ripples. 
and this is what I believe is fossil merle fragments. Moving on to the reef, we see a lot of flustra. And as we get higher up on the reef, we get more folios algae. And things like the pentapora, sponges on the verticals and on the overhangs, where they get less interference in the inverted commas from the sediment. But even on top of the reef, this close to the edge, there is a lot of biogenic fragments. So there are veneer influences on this uh, habitat. This is another area of, of um, veneer with much shallower sediment over the surface and much more frequent emergent sponges and a lot of squirts. This is Adreus fascicularis again and another specimen. This was frequent on this dive. And here we see that habitat in a shot of video. This is rather green, it'll clear, it'll, it will clear up in a moment, but we can see a lot of Stellonica socialis and various other emergent species, including what we've seen in the stills. More stills coming along in a moment. Variety of species, Raspalia hispida and Raspalia ramosa. And in the centre, we had this anomalous polymastia, which has closed papillae. And there are various different polymastias, which have not yet been ID'd to species, and they appear to be specialists in veneers. Down to the right, we can see uh, pink coralline crusts. And that Raspalia hispida in the centre, down to its right, is there, there is another anomalous polymastia. Cyclic penicillus at about 10 o'clock just to the left of that slightly stunted axinella dissimilis, the yellow sponge, which is on a slightly raised area of rock. So what we've got here is I believe a band of veneer in a ring in a shallower sediment close to these reefs. There may be two biotopes or there may be just one who knows? I think this needs a proper survey, not just one hour spent by one individual diver.